Hey everyone, Kyle Chivester back to another Lemonade video for today. So earnings are coming up. As of now, there's no exact date for when that will happen, probably in the first two weeks of the month of August. Now, as always, I will cover the earnings the day after, but we'll post the video just before the market opens so you can decide whether or not you want to buy or sell more shares. Now in this video, just like with the square one, if you haven't watched that, it's going to be in the top right corner. We're going to look at the graph, the past earnings report, look at a couple of key numbers that you might be looking for in the next earnings report, my thoughts on the matter, what I'm expecting from that earnings report, and then two things I want to show you at the end of the video that are nice to hear, nice to see, but not specifically major effect that will move the stock price, for example. But before I do so, I just want to thank everyone that has been subscribing lately. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. I would also like to thank today's sponsor, The Monthly Fool. Obviously, these are my views and my views only. The Monthly Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me find the latest growth stock and innovative company. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services, the full offers. Through the Motley Fool's stock advisor service, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisor's average stock picks have returned over 500%. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more this year, you can visit www.fool.com slash couchinvestor or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if Stock Advisor is right for you. Now let's dive into this. Also, if you want to watch all my other videos regarding Lemonade, those are going to be in the top right corner and following the company since they IPO'd, basically every major move they've made, I've covered that. So if you're interested in that, top right corner. Now let's jump into the graph. So as you can see, something very specific is always happening when the stock is going down. It bounces off that $80 mark. It bounced off in March, bounced off end of March, then end of April. Then when we went under that, it was that $80 mark that caused that huge spike up back above $100. And then just now, one week ago, bounce off that $80 mark again. So just for future references, if you see the stock go up, but then suddenly market crashes, everything goes down altogether, then look for that $80 mark, might be a good indication of a support line, might be a good point to increase your position. And just to be clear, this does not mean that it will always bounce off that $80 mark, as we've seen with the latest crash, it can go all the way down back to $60. But if it bounces off five times, four times at that specific price, Maybe in the future, those algorithms, those bots will see that $80 mark as a big support line. Now let's jump into the past earnings report, look at a couple of key numbers. So most of you will probably look at the total customers, look at the percentage change quarter over quarter. So in the last quarter, it grew 50% year over year. Total customers is now well over 1 million customers at 1,096,618. Now, I will not be looking at a big percentage-wise change. I will be looking at the net addition of customers because we cannot forget, this is still an insurance company. This is not a Netflix or a Disney Plus where suddenly you will see each and every quarter 3 million, 1 million additional customers. No, this is insurance. So this will take time to grow its customer base. Now, Enforce Premiums is something that has gone up a lot lately. And this is something that they are focusing on a lot as well. So and huge increase in enforced premiums year over year, obviously quarter over quarter remains to be seen. Premium per customer would also like to see a big upside on that front, especially if more and more customers adopt more and more policies. And then obviously the biggest metric of all is the gross loss ratio. Why is this so high? Well, because of the Texas freeze. So this is usually a one-off thing when major catastrophes happen, this is usually what happens. Now. I would like to see it go back to the 70, 72%. Obviously, if it can go lower, great. But obviously, with them adding lots of new policies, with them growing in other markets, that should be sustained at 70, 72%. If it goes higher, let's maybe hear some explanation during the earnings call. Gross earned premium should also be going up significantly, like it has been doing 
year over year. Obviously, I would love to see some numbers from the European market, still a very, very small segment because they're not really focusing on Europe right now. Major focus is in the United States, which is logical. But if we can get some info from the European market, that would be great. Term life and auto insurance for auto. I don't think we're going to see anything significant this year. For term life, I do hope we can get some numbers, some early day numbers on that front. That would be great. Obviously, some graduate numbers, people adopting multiple policies. That would be awesome as well. Now, before I end this video, I'll just show you two cool little things that happened for Lemonade in the last couple of weeks. So first thing we have here, an award, Best Homeowners Insurance Company of 2020 by US News. You can see here the rankings, Lemonade number one, USAA number two, Amica number three, all state, State Farm are all following after that. Now obviously this is just a nice to see, nice to see that their hard work is paying off. Now another nice thing to see is that Lemonade has been released for renter's insurance in Florida. As you know, Lemonade is not yet available in all states in the United States. And last thing, as you know, Lemonade is giving back to the community, to charities. So $2.3 million has been donated by the Lemonade community to 65 nonprofits in the give back for 2021. And this again is great to see, great to see Lemonade and Lemonade users give back to charity, give back to communities, because, well, this was one of their major statements when they went IPO. They are an insurance company, usually insurance company want your money and do not want to give the money back. Lemonade obviously operates differently. That's what makes them obviously also different to incumbents, not just the tech side, but the fact that they care about customers, they care about the community. And that's why this charity has been done year over year. And that will be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what your expectations are for Lemonade. High expectations, low expectations. Have you been adding, selling, holding your Lemonade shares? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.